Students, now we'll talk a little bit about uh, the concept of networks. What are networks? The networks, whether it's a local network or a wide network, a remote network, it consists of two basic parts. Just like a data communication system, end devices or the machines that are actually connected in this network are called as hosts. You will hear this word a lot in this course and in the following course of computer networks. So um, the definition of hosts is in a network, the end devices, the end machines that are communicating with each other, normally the source and the destination as we have gone through them in the data communication system are called as hosts. The source or destination ke concept se thoda sa bahar nikal hum log. and we are naming those two systems, the end devices, sender and receiver, source system, destination system as two hosts. In a network, those end devices are called as hosts. Then, students, the interconnecting devices, the devices that connect these two hosts or multiple hosts together, they are also a part of the network. Students, in connecting devices, go, um, we can, they, they can take a form of the, of the router. Why do we call them a connected devices? They can either be a router. A router connects different networks together. So it's a connecting device. It's a part of the network. It can be a switch. A switch connects two hosts within a local network together. It can be a hub. Hub no longer, uh, uh, it, it's very rare to find a hub, I should say. Um, but, but, but initially, you will see when we'll talk about um, the, the physical structures, when we'll talk about the different topologies that networks can take, you will see that um, we, we use to interconnect different hosts in a small network using a hub as well. So these connecting devices are also part and parcel of a network. Now students will talk about of something that we term as a network criteria. Similar to the characteristics of a data communication system, we spoke about some characteristics. We spoke about these characteristics as being the deciding factor on how efficient a data communication system or a model is. Students' network ke case may be kuch SI hai. There are certain um, criteria, there are certain criteria that a network has to meet for it to be a legitimate network, for it to be a efficient network. Students on a very high level, very basic level, there are three network criteria that we are going to be talking about. The first one is performance. How the network is performing decides how efficient a network is. What decides the performance of a network? What decides whether a network is a, is a well-performing network or if it's not performing to its limits. Students, normally in a network, uh, the, the transit time, the time it takes from point A, the message from, to get from point A to point B, that is called the transit time. That transit time represents what the performance of the network is like. The response time decides what the performance is like. What do, what do I mean by performance? Um, what do I mean by the response time is? If you send a ping from point A, from computer A to computer B, how quickly does the computer B respond to that ping request? That decides the performance. So students summarizing this transit and, and the response times, there are two factors that decide on the performance of a network. The first factor is throughput. What is a throughput? Students, how much data can be transferred in a particular time frame, how much data can be transferred from point A to point B is the throughput of that network. Number two is the delay. How much delay do we encounter when we send the data from point A to point B is also a factor that decides on the performance of a network. The students, very important criteria, very important characteristic of a network. Performance depends on the throughput being high and the delay being low. 
कोई भी नेटवर्क जिसमें थ्रूपुट इज द मैक्सिमम थ्रेटिकल मैक्सिमम एंड द डिले इज क्लोज टू और इज एट द थ्रेटिकल मिनिमम इज अ वेल परफॉर्मिंग नेटवर्क स्टूडेंट्स दूसरा क्राइटेरियन है हमारा रिलायबिलिटी वट डिसाइड्स हाउ रिलायबल अ नेटवर्क इज एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द डेटा वंस इट गेट्स फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी दैट डिसाइड्स रिलायबिलिटी द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ फेलियर्स वेन वी सेंड डेटा फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी हाउ मेनी टाइम्स द डेटा फेल्स टू रीच फ्रॉम ए टू बी द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दोज फेलियर्स डिसाइड्स ऑन द रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ दैट नेटवर्क एज वेल so performance which ultimately depends on throughput and delay and then the reliability of the network as well students so then we get to the security a very 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 important factor in today's world if you are um, listening to the latest news we talk about all those uh, hackers hacking into the, the 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 information the confidential information that are there in the networks that are stored in the servers and the and the hosts and the end machines security is another important factor network criterion for every single network how secure the data is if we send the data in that network from one host to the second host um do we have measures in place to ensure that data sec is secured or is um inter uninterchangeable or cannot be um stolen Uh, on the way from one host to the other the security is another important network criteria thank you very much students